has to be him. What has to be who? If you, uh, don't mind my asking. <laughs> it's not your asking, I mind. It's my explaining. But I don't see any other way around it. You see, when a baby is born here, we hold a ceremony to welcome them. The rite of immersion, we call it. But I don't know whether Wallius was ever afforded that courtesy. What is abundantly clear, though, is that my ancestors never welcomed him as one of us. And I want to change that. The problem is, the ceremony requires three ministrators. The baby's parents and a witness. As tributary, the role of witness would normally fall to me. But being Wallace's closest living relative, I must play the role of mother. So you want me to serve as witness in your stead? That's right. A witness must be a trusty guardian, ready to steer the child through the stormy waters of life and on to tranquility, which is why I thought of you. It would be my honor. Thank you, Clive. So, if you will serve as mother and I as witness, who will take on the father's role? I have a younger brother. He should be making ready for the rite as we speak, though whether he is or not. <sighs> Let me introduce you. Please do. If he's anything like his sister, I'm sure we'll get on famously. I'll bid him come to the Witten Hall. Will you wait for us there? Gladly. It's good to have them back. Clive, my brother. If it isn't my old mate, Sid! You? So you do remember me, even stripped of my cunning disguise? I'm touched. You two know each other. My friends and I crossed paths with your brother on our hunt for the Dusk Crystals, during which we saved his life. Three times, was it? Three? Four? Who's counting? All I know is when Shula mentioned she'd called in Sid the Outlaw to help young Walias, I could be sure that the little rascal was in safe hands. I mean, having seen you in action back at the tower, I know exactly what you're capable of. So the mercenary you met in the Sage Spire, that was Clive. And he saved your life. That's a rather different story from the one you told me. And a far likelier one at that. It would appear my family owe you twice over. Whether they admit it or not. Honestly, Fammy, would it kill you to tell the truth once in a while? What? I said sorry, didn't I? How about we save the uh, recriminations until after the ceremony, eh? Speaking of which, what does this ceremony involve exactly? It's simple, really. We each say a short prayer and anoint the child's head with holy water. Nothing too onerous, then. Not about the rite itself, no. But it does call for some preparation. One of the witnesses' responsibilities is to collect the holy water, you see. Three files for the three ministrators, each taken from a particular place. Don't worry, though. It's not as if you have to go alone. I can show you the way. I'd appreciate that. Famiel, you stay here and ready the Witten Hall. Leave it to me. If there's anything Jill and I can do to assist you... We'd be glad to help. Thank you both.
All right then, let's get started, shall we? There are three types of holy water that we must collect. The water of the mountain, of the river, and of the sea. We take the water of the mountain from the spring atop Maiden's March. The water of the river from the course that flows through the ruins of Rivers Meet. And the water of the sea from the shallows of Tailwind Bay. Here are the files we'll be using in the ceremony. I'm ready to leave whenever you are. Someone's in trouble. Come on. Help! Help? What help? Nobody's coming to... Help? We're here to help.
Is anyone hurt? Oh, Sid! Thank all the clouds in the heavens you came! You saved us! Again! Would you two care to explain what you're doing up here? The chief sent us to fetch incense for the ceremony. So the Witten Hall smells nice for the little Ben. <clears throat> you mean to tell me you braved this den of deadly beasts for some tree sap? You don't have to do everything he says, you know. Or if you must, at least have the good sense to ask one of our hunters to accompany you. We're sorry. It's fine. Just go back to the village before you get yourselves into any more trouble. Right you are. Oh, and there. Uh, thanks and that. Remind me to give my brother a cuff round the ear when we get back. Right then. Let's collect this water, shall we? The rain that falls on the mountain emerges here in these springs. The source of the river. The source of life. Precisely. Take care not to spill it. Right. Let's save that for the ceremony. Let's go. We can collect the water of the river from here. All right. The water of the river represents life. It is constantly moving, constantly changing. And though its course may twist and turn or branch into a thousand separate streams, it always flows in the same direction, from source to sea, beginning to end like time. What of Wallius then? When your ancestors froze him, did they remove him from the river of life? They did. Like an ice-bound pool that didn't thaw for 80 summers. But now he's free to flow again, to live. And you and I shall flow with him, for we are all but drops of water in the great river of life. I find that thought oddly reassuring. Go on. A drop of water might seem insignificant on its own, but as a part of a torrent, it can cleave a path through the hardest rock. It makes me believe we humans might just stand a chance. I believe we might. Just one more file to go then. Nearly done.
Ambrosia. Time to fight. Come on, run like the wind. This path leads down to the coast. Usually we keep this gate shut tight, but since this is a special occasion, Thank the tides, the weather held. This place can be treacherous when the waves are high. If it weren't for the holy water, no one would ever come down here. I'll be sure to watch my step.
water flows to the sea, then rises into the clouds. Just like life, the end is not the end, only a new beginning. My ancestors chose this place because it was where the first boat landed. And it's a good thing they didn't land closer to the surge. Quite. I still can't help but be awed by it. Oh? All that wave ever made me feel was pity and sorrow for the innocent life trapped inside it. The child my great-grandfather sacrificed to try to change his people's fate. It was wrong. An unforgivable sin. But I often wonder, will my descendants ever forgive me for what I have done? As tributary, I faced many difficult choices. And though I've always striven to do what's best for my people, here we live in poverty, hidden away from the world. So have my choices denied them a better life, just as my ancestors denied Walius his. No. You would not forcibly sacrifice one of your people to save the others. You do the best you can for all of them, as do I. We share in their woes, just as we share in their joys. And the most we can do is try to bring them more of the latter. Aye, you're right. And try I shall to bring all of my people a better tomorrow. Walius included. <laughs> then I wish you luck. If my time with the boy is any indication, he's going to be quite a handful. <laughs> then we must start as we mean to go on and give him the very best welcome we can. Where to next, then? Back to the village to find out if my brother has made the necessary preparations. Or got his lackeys to do it for him. We have the holy water. Is everything else in place? All ready to go. Told you you could count on me. Then let us begin. Famiel, have your men summon everyone to the Witten Hall. Right you are. Uh, Ashula, wait. I don't know the words. Don't worry. There aren't many of them. We'll have time enough to practice before people arrive. Oh, 
My friends, we are gathered here today to welcome this child into our community by the right of immersion, as has been our custom since the first reign. As tributary, I would normally perform the rite with the child's parents, but Walius's mother and father returned to the sea long ago. So I and my brother Famiel shall serve as his family, while the one who returned him to us shall bear witness in my stead. Clive, if you would step forward. Like the rain that falls on the mountains tall, are we born? Like the river that flows through the valleys below, do we live? run free do we die and to the clouds then rise again The circle of water is the circle of life. And today, from the heavens falls rain anew. This child, Walius, now joins our stream, and he shall flow with us from the mountains to the sea. <sighs> You played your part to a tea, Clive. Thank you. It means a lot to us. I was honored to be asked, and terrified I'd miss. <laughs> now that you're part of the family, young Walias, my lad. Uncle Samuel can teach you the ways of the world. <laughs> oh, no, he can't. Eh? Don't be so hasty. Your brother's knack for self-preservation might serve him well. Ha! You are never going to let me live that down, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna raise Walius as if he were my own. Teach him everything I know about life, our people, and our past. But with all the mother crystals gone, he will grow up in a world without comforts. One where we only have ourselves and each other to rely on. I'd say your people are better prepared than most to survive in such a world, Shula. To thrive, indeed, under your guidance. Only if nature continues to smile on us. If we were to lose her gifts, we'd be left with nothing at all. Yes. But it needn't come to that. Not if we can stop the spread of the blight. So long as we can save a single patch of soil, we can plant the seeds for a new world. 
one where we can all be free. Perhaps then we might finally be able to step out from behind our curtain, eh? Till that day comes, I wish you good tide. Thank you. We should be on our way. Well, you be careful out there. Aye, you steer clear of trouble now. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs>